Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Sorry if I look a little bit sweaty, I'm just back from the gym, so a bit, I would be a bit sweaty with that. Now, in this episode, you might notice it's a little bit different. Thank you so, so, so much for 1,000 subscribers. I can't be more grateful to you all. You're all an inspiration to me, I and I love you all. And I hope we all continue what we do and become like a hundred thousand subscribers in due time. Alright, so this, I was thinking about doing a clue &A. Are you guys up for that? Now, I asked you some questions, and I got a lot, it's 12 questions by the way, so, hmm, how about 10 minute video? Probably. So, first one is, what's my worst nightmare? And that was by Damus Therapy. Uh, my worst nightmare was, prob you ever had the nightmare where you think your teeth are coming out? Like, you wake up and you have no teeth. Does that make sense? Like, in the dream, I mean, no in real life. Uh, it's a bit weird dream, but I think everybody's had it. And it terrified me as a kid, and I actually thought I was going to lose all my teeth. But I didn't. Obviously. Uh, second question, what do I do for a living? Now, I um, just have weekend jobs and I work at weekends in the gym, in my local gym. Uh, I also work part time in a taffy just to get some extra money and it kind of helps out. And I'm working towards being a personal trainer, so hopefully that comes through and I get to be a personal trainer. Uh, okay, moving on. Because personal training is a, like one of my dreams that I want to be. I just want to make people like enjoy fitness and know that it's not a chore. Because I know people think it's a chore. You know? Uh, favourite type of dame, so we're back on the dame inside of things now. My favourite type of dame is definitely horror. Survival horror though, not like the jump scare horror, because I am a big baby. Let's be honest, big baby. Uh, and so survival horror like Resident Evil, Evil Within, which I'm playing right now. Funny. Um, what else? Why can I not find the survival horror games? Anyway, moving on. Uh, so all games like that. I also am partial to a little bit of a platform game. Like, I do like platform games. And I also like, like the Tomb Raider, like the jumping and all the stunt moves. I love those games. Driving games, GTA. I used to be a bit fan of Call of Duty, but... I haven't kind of off it. I don't like Fortnite. For, for a kid, well I'm not a kid, I'm kind of an adult now, but uh, um, I hate Fortnite. I'm not, that's why it will never be on my channel. Anyone that doesn't know what Fortnite is, Fortnite is a game where basically you jump around, shoot people and do factory dances. That's all I know about it. That's how detailed I am on it. But I will never play it. Okay. Number four. My religion. I am a Catholic. Uh, boo, boo, probably some people are saying. But I think Catholic's pretty good. Uh, but I'm open to everybody's religion. I love everybody's, everyone's entitled to their own religion. Uh, and I find it kind of sad when other religions get put down because everyone is entitled to their own religion, you know? Um, so, yeah, I'm Catholic, just so you know. Uh, what inspired me to do YouTube or who inspired me to do YouTube? Now, I used to watch a lot of YouTube before I done YouTube myself. And a bit of inspiration of mine was of course multiplier and such, but a bit like deal for me was Gigi Dab or Del Dama Dab. I don't know if 
if you guys know her, check out her channel, I'll leave it in the description. She's a really cool doll, very caring, very thoughtful and very passionate about what she does. And she was an inspiration for me. Now she's from the Netherlands originally, I think she lived in Japan but she's moved back to the Netherlands now. Anyway, this is not a dab stream. Um, but I recommend you check her out. Also, a bit of inspiration of mine was the YouTuber uh, Mars. I don't know if you know her. And uh, real name's Christine. Sorry, Mars, but I know it. So, and also a bit of inspiration of mine nowadays. I didn't used to watch her stuff. So I didn't know her, but it's Seth Levine Soapery. I don't know if you know her. But I, I think you all, all you guys know Seth by now. So she's a really cool doll. Check out the channels. Susie, Mars, Seth and Dab. Recommend you do it. Alright, next one. Uh, favourite game of... Oh no, favourite genre of movie. I looked at the wrong one. Uh, favourite genre of movie is definitely horror. I'm a bad horror fan. I love jump scares. Favourite... Uh, I'm trying to think what what made me like passionate about horror. Like I just love getting seared. I'm one of those people that liked it seared. Now, as you guys probably know, I have a bad fear of clowns. That like, I can't be near a clown. It is just it's pathetic. It's the sweet, but I just can't be near a clown in my life. Basically, just can't be near one. Um, so horror, my favourite genre, slasher, a little bit, I can watch them, Hostel, no way, a slasher film, ugh, disgusting, so, same, now, yeah, that's just torture porn, so it used the P word, but it is, okay, uh, favourite game of 2018, and that's by The Rant, what, 88 Dylan, who I know, and I'm toy pals with, now, favourite game of 2018 is definitely God of War. I loved God of War. It was a fantastic game. Kratos was amazing in it. Atreus, I got Andley. <laughs> Watch part 23 of it and you'll see me getting Andley at Atreus. And, but Kratos was such a good character. I ended up warming up. That's what I liked about it. But if I had to do off track and say... Like other years, uh, apart from 2018, I'd probably say that my favourite game is probably right now is The Last of Us. I love The Last of Us. I'm only halfway into it, but I can just tell it's going to be a, a brilliant game and it already made me tear up. I know, the baby, right? So. That year though, Dodder War for 2018. Detroit Become Humans a close setting though, so that was a brilliant game. Really unexpected. Hopefully Shadow the Tomb Raider stood. Please. Uh, okay. Who helped my channel become what it is? Now, person that helped me, now I was stuck on 400 subscribers for a long, long time. I hadn't, like, 200 of them were dead subs. Um, and Labine Sopery, who Seth, who I've already mentioned in this video, she really, really helped my channel. Dildy my dad really helped my channel as well, so, and it kind of got me up. So did 50 Glitter Done. That's 50. It's, she's also a slimmer that does Damon and Fortnite. Oh, sorry. Fifty. Get rid of the Fortnite. Um, but you're entitled to what you like, so I accept it. Thumbs up. And so Levine Sopley helped me become what it is, Dildy Madab and uh, Fifty that are done. And the rant a little bit. So thank you for. And everybody else, of course, thank you. Uh, 
favourite type of music and singer? Okay, so I range from singer and music. So my favourite type of music oh it ranges, I can't decide. Like I like the torrent, like Ed Sheeran, Bruno Mars, uh Panic at the Disto. I like all those, but I also do really w well back, like Arctic Monties, The Who, do The Doors, Elvis, yeah, Elvis, yeah. Uh, yeah, so a bit Motown, I like Motown as well, I can listen to that. David Bowie, God rest him, was amazing. Uh, Elton John, I can listen to your song, his tweeted song, I like that. So, and I don't have a favourite singer, obviously, so I just named like 10 of them off the, off the bat, so I don't have a clue. So favourite type of music, don't have a clue. Favourite singer, don't have a clue. Uh, favourite YouTuber, now this is really, really hard. I'm just trying to put in the top three, okay? So, Del Dima Dab, you're amazing. Levine Sopley, amazing, and this is between two people, Brett, who is Naughty Strawberry on YouTube, and The Rant, Use, it's a joint third place, so fun you guys, you are my favourite YouTubers of 2018, so it may change, that are my dude boots, guys, I'm always telling you always in my dude boots. My hair's doing something funny this episode. Uh, what horror movie scared me? I don't know what this question meant, if it meant like scared me as a kid or scared me now. Now, obviously it, the new one, not the one with Tim Torrey, the TV series, that didn't really scare me. Because I found that actually t kind of pathetic a little bit. But the one with Bill Sarsdard, and such, that one really scared me. That one really, really scared me. And oh, that bit when he's in the sewer, I still get nightmares about that. Also, uh, the Amityville Horror scared, scared me as a kid. I don't know why, I just kind of did. And I remember I don't see that. The one with Ryan Reynolds, I mean, the kind of remake. And because I knew that that could actually happen, like, somebody's just go mad and tell the whole family. Like, I recommend you don't watch these films. Yeah, that thing just said me as a kid. And I know it's based off a true story, Ronnie Dufault. Right? Uh, I'm saying, The Tundurian scared me half to death. The Tundurian is an awesome film. Recommend you watch it. That bit, I, I need to put my phone somewhere. Hold on. That bit where she claps, I can't do it for here, so I'm holding my phone, but put it there. That bit where she does this is so sells me half to death right now. Uh, another film that I'm kind of scared about is Sinister. Now, Sinister is a delete film, so on Ethan Hawk and what's the devil's name then? I can't remember. Anyway, Mr. Brody's the body in that, so I recommend you watch that. It's very creepy. The videotapes in it are very, very creepy. I should not have watched these as a kid because they leave a lasting impression in there. So to this day. Okay, and unfortunately, my last question, am I a tat or a dog person? Now, I am a big dog person. I loved my dog, who sadly passed now. And it was just his time. I made a video about that. It's nearly been a year already, which is really, really surprising, actually, because it doesn't seem like that. It only seems like a month or two. Um, he just died of old age, uh, which I'm kind of proud of. Not that he died. That's came out wrong. Uh, that it was just old age, you not like cancer or something, because and you had all the family around about him, which I'm really really happy about. And so, and his name was Doodles. Yeah, I know, Doodles, right? 
I had all the sladding or uh, and all the mortary. I had everything said to me about that name. It's only a children's TV show I used to watch as a kid. I did not name the dog. I didn't name the dog something sensible. But doodles, God rest you. Uh, I, I never had a tat, but I do like tats. Uh, I know everyone I know partly has dods or had dods in the past. But I don't know, Labine Sophie, you're talking up a lot in this video, by the way. I know her tat died recently and we've been talking on Facebook about it a lot. And I just want to say I'm partially... I'm personally sorry for your loss, because I know what that's like, even though they're different species or animal, but uh, I know what that's like, Seth, so uh, my blessings are with you. So guys, that is it. Thank you so, so much for watching, and thank you so very dearly for 1,000 subscribers. And hopefully we can get to 2,000 and then 3,000 and then 10. Oh, if we get to 10,000, I will do the matter arena. I swear to God. There, I've said it on time where I handle that. 10,000, I do the matter arena. So guys, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned with more from WAH. Bye guys. <laughs>